Hey Bermuda, this is You Got a Problem. I'm your host, Lamar CY. This show is dedicated to finding out things that uh, happen in Bermuda, getting some public opinion. You know you can get mine on it. I don't figure out why people think about certain things. This whole episode is dedicated to cannabis, marijuana, weed, whatever you want to call it. I don't see how people feel about it and why is it still illegal. Do you think it should be legalized, regulated, or left illegal? I want to find out. So let's go. How do I feel about cannabis reform? Cannabis reform? No, from cannabis reform. Oh, cannabis reform. I'm not sure what that is. Marijuana. Oh, geez. No opinion. <laughs> How do you folks feel about legalizing cannabis? Regulating. <laughs> well, we're from uh, Canada, so you know my answer on that. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go no comment. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about cannabis reform? Who's they? Who's Cameron? No, cannabis. Uh, marijuana? Marijuana reform. Make it regulated and legalized? Nah. nah. Why not? I, I can't I can't speak on that. Why not? Have you used marijuana before? Never in my life, no. It should be regulated, legalized. All for it. If you want to do it, you should be able to. That's how I feel. Yeah. I don't think you should limit other people's uh, experiences or you know, like based on your own beliefs. I don't really think you should impose your beliefs on other people. I think people should respect one another and let people do their own thing, you know? About what? The cannabis reform. Ooh, I think they need to legalize it. Hmm? I think they need to legalize it. Say, so, uh, I vote yeah. I like it. How you feel about legalizing cannabis? Let's have it, everybody be calmer. I don't smoke it, but hey, everybody be all mellowed out. How you feel about cannabis reform? Cannabis reform, I'm actually for it um, a lot. Um, I know a lot of medical benefits on cannabis, um, and I'm actually looking for, you know, to be part of the activist um, organization for the cannabis reform. I, I agree, I agree with Sam Jane. How do you feel about cannabis reform? About what? Cannabis reform? I think it's a must. It's a must, definitely. Um, it's an herb, just like thyme, just like all the other herbs that I use, and you know, should be made legalized. People shouldn't be getting in trouble, especially black people shouldn't be getting in trouble um, for marijuana, for plants. It's ridiculous. They need to reform it. Yeah. How do you feel about cannabis reform? Uh, it's a good question. I, I, I'm very much against drugs. However, I think the war against drugs, particularly, sorry, particularly against the war against drugs in the United States is a losing battle. And I think it would be much better to decriminalize it and put the police on more serious crimes. So in other words, I would say, I would put it sort of like alcohol. I would allow you to have it, use it, but under controls. And, but not, not the way it is now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep it as a criminal matter. Oh, okay. How do you feel about cannabis reform? Uh, what? Sorry? Cannabis reform. Um, I'm, I'm for it. I think, like, I think it's, uh, there's a lot more issues that Bermuda should be focusing on in terms of criminal activity than, than, like, uh, marijuana as being illegal, so. How do I feel about, sorry? Cannabis reform? I'm indifferent to it, actually. I'm Canadian, so it's pretty more liberal there. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm a bit indifferent in terms of whether or not it's um, a positive for Bermuda or a negative. What's your opinion on cannabis reform? Can cannabis reform? Um, I'm not sure. For medicinal purposes, I think it's probably a good idea, but only when administered by an like, actual doctor. How do you feel about cannabis reform? Like what? Cannabis reform. Uh, it's, uh, it's a double-edged sword. Um, I mean, I definitely... Uh, I definitely, I, I don't mind, you know, the, the smoking and whatnot, but I mean, this is the thing is that everybody can kind of abuse it. Again, it's everybody being mature and kind of wrapping their head around the fact that you don't have to, it's, it's very similar to what goes on on the boats here and what goes on in the bars here. Everybody just tries to see how much they can drink in a night. You don't want these kids to just sit down and smoke and just chill out in their living rooms and play Xbox all night. You want everybody to come out and kind of do this and talk and, and get it on and, and interact with each other, I think is what it is. Where you stand on medical marijuana or even legalizing and regulating marijuana? I think it's a really negative uh, signal that we're sending to our children because uh, we all know, and it's a fact, that you know, liquor goes to marijuana, marijuana goes to cocaine, it goes to heroin. Wow, really? 
That's, that's not even a fact, that's just conjecture. That's propaganda at its best because that's that gateway nonsense that you keep spewing on about. Like if that was the case, that means everyone who would take a sip of alcohol should be like a heroin addict by now. But no, that's not the case because people make choices in their life. All right, like people need to understand that you make choices and decide on what you want to do instead of just saying this nonsense, just repeating it over time. Okay, so based off of that, why don't you make alcohol illegal? Because you said alcohol leads to marijuana. Wouldn't you stop it at the, like, at the start? And I would agree with you. Uh, and what, what happened when we stopped alcohol in the United States, when we had prohibition, it created chaos. Uh, you, you bring in, you know, gangland. Not true, you had speakeasies, you had underground nightclubs and lounges where it was served behind closed doors. You had homemade distilleries and distribution systems set up. What you're talking about is the involvement of the police to enforce these prohibition laws, which created your gangland and all this chaos. And, and, and I agree with you, it's, it's, a very, it's a very fair argument, but I think that the social drinker is different than the social smoker. And an alcoholic is different from a non-alcoholic. People react differently to different things. That's how it works. Different people have different reactions to different things. I, and, and that's absolutely true, but I think there's a, there's a, there's a medical degradation of uh, when, when you smoke incessantly versus drinking. Listen, at the end of the day, ideally, they're not both the best. So why is one legal and the other one illegal? That's what I want to know. We'll be back in a bit. Do I want to be sold by the schools? No. Legalization doesn't mean sell it to kids.